The Cape Wrath Ultra is based on the Cape Wrath Trail, which is a 400 kilometer uh, trail from Fort William to Cape Wrath, which is the most northwestern point of mainland Scotland. The Cape Wrath Trail is actually a matrix of different trail choices. It's not a, an absolutely set in stone route. So um, whether you're walking or running, you've got this um, extraordinary adventure into the most remote and wild wilderness um, in the UK and there really is nothing else like it. I think we're, I think we're finally going. <laughs> Are we? Is it real? <laughs> yeah, feeling good. We've, uh, we're finally here. There's no going back. Let's do it. So uh, my name's Laura, uh, we're Driscoll and I'm coming from Ireland. There's three of us travel together from Ireland, myself and my better half and uh, another guy Cedric who travelled with us too. And um, yeah, I'm here to do Cape Wrath Ultra. Very excited, a bit nervous, a few niggles manifesting themselves in the last few weeks. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I spent pretty much every weekend um, somewhere in the hills usually, uh, a combination of Loving the landscape, the, the scenery, like the epic kind of vista, um, the wilderness, the remoteness, um, and that's probably balanced with uh, an equal amount of time spent cursing the bogs and horrible terrain. <laughs> um, so this well, the route is completely unknown to me. Like I said, I've never ever been here before. So each each day is going to be a nice surprise. Um, yeah, don't don't know what to expect. I've had a look at the maps. Um, I've seen there's lots of trackless paths and areas like that. So it looks like there's some tricky nav as well on some of the days. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go for a win. So yeah, I'm gonna be working as hard as I can every for every moment. I just gotta be careful not to run myself into the ground too early. Like I said, it's eight days, so you got got to pace it right. It's hot and cold. So I had to, to judge it. Just try not to go too fast on this day. Yeah, have a good time. Thank you. Including the staff, there's the best part of 450 people here. We are travelling in a bubble, a self sufficient bubble, for eight days over 400k. And most of the time, there is no water, there's no electricity, there's no power, there's no internet, there's no phone. So, all of those services we need to bring in. An army marches on its stomachs, so we need to feed everybody, we need to keep everybody safe. Uh, we have remote deployed teams, safety teams, course teams, marquee teams, I mean the list goes on. You know with a one day event you kind of you get to a location and you're there, you can set it up, you can take your time, you can take it down and take your time but when you're moving day to day you've got a window of like five or six hours. We kind of have our own race in a way because we're trying to pack everything down and move and get there before the first runner comes into camp. Hi, I'm Duncan Anderson. This is my third time volunteering on Cape Wrath. I'm Blue Tent Supervisor. So looking after today, we're putting up 37 blue tents for the competitors, four tents for crew, um, and trying to find dry spots to do it into so they don't end up sleeping in a bog. So in the morning, as people start going at different times, you obviously can't take a tent down until people have gone. So you don't want to be hassling people and saying, you know, can you go now? So but as soon as they've gone, we can then deflate the tents and start putting those away. Rolling the tents, we have a better technique than before that doesn't get you quite as wet. But obviously we've got two tents that were up yesterday that, that, that we took down this morning that are soaking wet already. 
that's the bit that's the more ticks, slugs, soggy bit in the morning. Right, we'll get in, get warmed up. That's your priority, get some food. Have a good day? Hello, yes. Yeah, good, yeah. Very fun. <laughs> yeah. Pretty muddy. It is pretty wet, isn't it? Okay. As you can see. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> That is wonderful. Oh, worth it. Worth the travel, worth everything. Yeah. Just day one. Oh, it's epic. <laughs> you need a false right. information. Okay. Oh, well, we're close to the front. Yeah. Cool. And this is home sweet home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have to remember 11 now. Yeah. That was so fun.